flatworms. Flatworms meaning they are not loud. If we take an example of Ascaris and, and Tenia, they are not the same. Ascaris is round while Tenia is flat. So we are going to talk about flatworms including cestodes. Cestodes, in fact, they are Tenia. While Trematodes, they are flukes. We see them. Their mode of transmission, the life cycle, pathophysiology, lab diagnosis, treatment, as well as. So, student, finish. Procedure 
we just choose the easy one. But also there are some which need the complicated procedure, especially when you want to perform uh, those neurological tests. Like this I can take a blood sample. Then you will perform those serological tests as analyzer, as I told you. But I don't think we can find it in the in the stool sample. It's not possible. And also clinical uh, diagnosis. Because a clinician also needs to know the clinical presentation of the patient. And most of the time we diagnose by clinical. Laboratory and some other parameters come to support what we are thinking. Is it okay now? So you can think you are pregnant because it, it, it increases the size as the day goes up. And that, that's a very serious problem. In addition to that, for this hydatid disease, the fluid are very toxic, can cause hypersensitivity. So, we are going to pass through all of this clinical importance of those systems, how we can diagnose them and even uh, treat them. This, those systems have a worldwide distribution. But evidence is higher in developing countries. When we say developing countries, we are included. Cocktail form shows the higher incidence, but this is dependent on diet, dietary habits. So it's very rare, but it's possible to find the Muslim having 10 years. <laughs> Don't say it's not possible. It's possible, but the incidence is not high. So, so you will be asking why Muslims get these 10 years while they don't consume macabins, right? Yes, why? Mm. Because we can contaminate the... Oh, yeah, we will miss the life cycle, yeah. So, 10 years of Jinata. Who? This is what's up. 10 years of Jinata. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Can have six meters. Six meters, I repeat, around in the gut. Good. It has a pear shaped head, we call it a scolex. We will foster cars, but no hooks or neck. <laughs> it has a long, flat body with several hundred segments. We call them prograteides. Each segment is about 18 millimeter with a branch in the uterus. It means that the, the, the prograteides, it's a single segment which may have several eggs. And when the, the prograteide is gravid, it 
contain these mature eggs, it will detach, it will be removed from the main parasite and will be eliminated in feces. Eggs are around 35 micrometer. It has the peripheral radial striations and contain an embryo with three booklets. Male. Here we don't have male and female, just a single womb and it has both testes and it has also uterus and it will lay eggs and both testes and uterus they are within a single prototype, this small part. So when a single prototype is detached from the womb, it will release mature eggs. And in those mature eggs, they are fertilized. They are, they will be ready to cause another infection. Those are eggs of tenia, which contain embryo. Tenia sorium and tenia saginata, which are indistinguishable on my microscope. Morphologic species are identical and you will have to rely on the prototype or scolysis to them. Eggs are around 
or subspherical with around 35 micrometer with a thick radially striated bone shell inside each shell there is embryonated oncospheres with six hooks this is a prototype view how it looks like gravid prototypes of tenia saginata at the left side and uh, uh, solium at the right side Inje uh, injection of indian ink in the uterus allows visualization of primary lateral branches you can see those branches how they, they look like lateral branches which helps to differentiate them but uh, and you can see the research studies we normally do not need to differentiate those parasites because their clinical is almost the same and the treatment is the same unless it's a tenia sorium that causes cyst cercosis and we will see what is cyst cercosis and how it occurs this is a magnified mm -hmm. connect the head where you can see the the hook and there are suckers here in the lateral face of the, the scolex up to here this is the scolex this is small is the neck then from here they are immature prototype that will continue to detach when they come mature mm -hmm. so now let's talk about the life cycle a type one lava cyst we call it cyst suckers is ingested with poorly cooked infected meat guys you you have to pay attention on this the neasolium have two kind of life cycle depending on infection are we together yes of the tenacidium for tenacidium you can get infected by drinking uh, contaminated water or eating just a food contaminated by hand hand hygiene or any other substance that contain like salad that contain dia eggs in this way you get contaminated by by tenia soya but also the second way you can get contaminated is about eating undercooked pork meat then you consume the seed suckers that are within the cyst of tenia in the muscle of the pig so when the, depending on the contamination the life cycle is different okay the life cycle and the clinical presentation are different depending on the root of contamination so don't be confused i gave you an example of how a muslim can get infected by tenia while never consume the, the pork it's possible because he or she can drink contaminated water or she can consume a salad that contains those eggs of tenia soria so if he or she consume it can develop infection and this is different for tenia saginata tenia saginata we just consume the undercooked meat of the beef and you generate infection so a type of larva cyst called the cyst suckers is ingested with a poorly cooked infected meat the larva will escape the cyst and passes to the small intestine where it will attach to the mucosa by the scorex suckers scorex suckers those are the scorex suckers okay the scorex suckers will help the, the the parasite to touch to, to attach to the intestine of mucosa the prototypes will develop as the worm mature in three to four months it will become mature 
Then others will live in the small intestine as long as 25 years. Yeah. You can get infected today, you are maybe 20. Then you can get your 50s and 60s still having the same parasites. Struggling and causing different problems in the, in the body. It can continuously provide or pass the prototype in the feces. Eggs extruded from the prototypes contaminate and persist in vegetation for several days and can be consumed by either cattle or pigs, in which they will hatch and form the sacai. Those sisters will migrate to the mouth of the pig or cattle, mm. and once you eat the meat of pig or cattle, you will get these sisters in the feast, which will resume infection. So this is the life cycle. Where a human can pass the prototypes for tenia saginata, we have these lateral branches that are clearly by tenia sorium, the lateral branches are not well seen, and the prototype of tenia sorium is somehow smaller. So those prototypes, they are gravid. They are gravid means that they have eggs. So those eggs or gravid prototypes in the feces that are passed in the feces they are found in the environment. They get cattle for tenia saginata and pigs for tenia surium will become affected by ingesting vegetation contaminated by eggs or gravid prototypes. When a cattle go wing in the field to eat grasses or pig eating the environment will get infected by those. And oncospheres, this is the lava that hatch from the, 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 the egg, will penetrate intestinal wall and circulate to the muscle. And this oncosphere will develop into sarca in the muscle. Oncosphere will make a cyst, create the muscle, and will make a cyst. In human, infected by human will be infected by eating raw or undercooked meat. meat. Okay. Either is the water, he can be infected and acquire this kind of uh, cyst sarcosis that we are going to see very soon. How it occurs. So, the question. We could now have got it in an under and then was it is a good day. Can I? No, 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 or gravid prototypes are passed with yes uh, can't we have any instance where we can find tenia sorium in the cattle or oh, it is specifically in the pigs on in the pox or only it's, it's specifically found in the pigs tenia sorium can never be found in the cattle as tenia saginata can never be found in the pigs yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Number one. Yeah. So, eggs or gravid prototypes that are passed in the feces, the egg can survive in the environment. Yes, please. Yeah. Mm. Question.
motion picture. Yeah, with Baza Matra. Uh, and the or sodium penetrating the muscles of a human being or just resting small intestines. Small intestines because of noisy We are going to see that tenia solium penetrates the human muscle and causes its silicosis. Mm. We will see it very soon, okay? <coughs> Cardo. Tenia saginata and the pigs, tenia solium, become infected by ingesting the contaminated with egg or gravid proteins. In animal, in the the oncosphere, the lava that hatch from egg will invade the intestinal wall and migrate to the uh, striated muscles where they will develop into sacchi. Estes sacas can survive for several years in the animal muscle mm. and the human will become infected just by ingesting raw or undercooked infected meat. The human intestine now, the cyst sucker, will develop over two months into another type of which can survive for many years, 25 years. But in the animal, the cyst sacchi will not develop into mature. That's why animal, pig, or cattle, they are intermediate hosts. Mm. They are not definitive hosts. But human being, there is a definitive host where we will have other hosts. Because the cyst sacchus in the human intestine, the cyst sacchus will develop over two months into another worm which can survive for several years. Mm -hmm. Then, the other step womb attached to the small intestine by the ascodex mm -hmm. and reside in the small intestine. Length for further tomb can even go to 5 meters, but also they can even reach 10 meters. Imagine having a womb of 10 meters in the, in the gut. And uh, the average is 7 meters for tenia solia. So the length will depend on the number of prokrotides that the, 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 the has. And that produce prokrotides which mature, become gravid, detach from the tapeworm, uh, and migrate to the anus or are passed into stools approximately six per day, six prototypes per day. Sajinata are that usually have 1,000 to 2,000 prototypes. This is Tenia Sajinata. While Tenia Solium are that may have average of 1,000 prototypes. The egg contained in the prototypes are released after the prototypes are passed within the feces. Then for tenia saginata, it may produce up to 100,000 and the tenia soria may produce around 50,000 eggs per one prototype. Imagine if saginata has 2,000 prototypes, then each prototype has one hundred thousand eggs. So can you imagine one single parasite? How many oh, eggs it has? It's like one hundred thousand times two thousand. Hmm? Because <laughs> two hundred million, million. Ten years, such a number may have two hundred thousand. No, 200 million of eggs. That's how the spread easily because those parasites they have many, many potential releasing eggs in environment. Right infection may remain asymptomatic and you can have some symptoms once it is very heavy. This is like abdominal discomfort. 
On the previous slide, uh, what is the epigastric pain? But you know uh, gastric, what is it? Gastric, I, uh, gastric juice. Yes. You know? Yes, I know. The stomach. Yeah. Oh, it, gastric pain is the pain in pigeon whereby we find the, 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 the stomach. Yeah. Or maybe you will learn it in, in semiology how we divide the, 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 the thorax into different parts and localize the pain. Depending on the pain, can divide the, the, the abdomen into how many parts? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We learn it how we can block this different uh, uh, abdomen part. And once the patient come and saying, oh, you see, doctor, I'm feeling a pain here. You, you will calculate and see, ah, is this a pigastric pain? Is this, is this? Then you can localize. You can, depending on the topographical location of the pain, you can know this is the disease. This is probably. It's like if the patient has like appendicitis, you apply the infection. If it's stomach, you can look like, depending on the patient complaint. So you will learn in anatomy, I think. For tenia solium, this is now special case for tenia solium on pig tepo. Tenia solium eggs can also infect human and cause this cell causes a lava cyst in the lung. A liver in the eye, in the brain, resulting in the blindness and the neurological disorders like neurosis, the cirrhosis, which is like a, a epilepsy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. this is among the ten years, this is the complicated <laughs> case because this can progress to death very rapidly. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, it's not. Uh, the life cycle, the difference from the other life cycle is that in this circumstance, a human gets infected by consuming eggs. Eggs containing the, I mean, eggs of the table. In the normal circumstance, we have seen that gravid prototypes pass the stool and we have eggs in the environment. Then embryonate the eggs. Or gravid the prokrotide will be ingested by the pig. Then oncospheres which hatch from egg will penetrate intestinal wall and cycrate to the muscles, straight the muscles of the pig or Cosphere will develop into saca in the muscle of pig or of human. So the contamination is the same by consuming eggs. Then human acquire the infection by ingestion of raw or undercooked meat from infected animal pig. This will not result to cirrhosis, okay? Because you have consumed the meat containing the cyst or cyst sacai. But cyst cirrhosis develop in any organ, being more common in the subcutaneous tissue as well as in the brain, eyes, and even in the visceral organs. Mm -hmm. And this comes from consumption of the egg, not consumption of undercooked meat. So these two life cycles are possible and are different. That's why. Mm -hmm. I remember recently there is a research study I conducted in Rwanda and I find many, many, many cases of uh, cyst cirrhosis, cyst cirrhosis in a 
We have analyzed their stool samples and the stool sample were negative. We didn't find any egg mm -hmm. of tenia. But when we analyze their blood samples, we find the antibodies against this sarcoid, mm -hmm. meaning that they have sericosis. I don't know what to be true. Many cases. So the theory behind it is who can try to interpret those findings? If you analyze uh, the stool sample, you don't find any parasites. But when you uh, analyze blood sample, you find there is those antibodies. So, what do you think about that scenario? Or what happened? <laughs> If I take stool sample of a patient, I analyze it and I don't find any parasites. Then when I analyze blood sample, I find the person is affected for this case, for this parasite, what do you think? What was the scenario? Or how can you interpret that finding? Doctor, I think uh, this mm. tenia uh, sorium has mm -hmm. infected the person uh, by consuming their their eggs and uh, it it grows in the in the visceral organs and uh, as we have seen the visceral organ it died there but when it reaches in the visceral organs uh, the, uh, the the immune system will try to fight against those the, these tenia so once they are, they are died there uh, they are removed, so that means it, it, it will not be produced in the stools, but already the antibody for the for the tenia sodium will, will be in, in the blood. So that's what I think. No, 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 no. This is not the case. <laughs> think again, that's not true. <laughs> think okay. it was. I think. Mm -hmm. The first one might be infected, but The last one, and then we discuss uh, my new memory. Another one. Hello, lecture. For me, I think. Can you back on this right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> For me, I think, as we can see, the when the pig mm. when the pig consume these eggs, mm. the egg migrate to their striated muscle. So, mm -hmm. I think on the human. When mm -hmm. he consumes the eggs, the same case with, with occur. Mm -hmm. Also, the egg will migrate into his 
striated muscle mm -hmm. uh -huh. then when when there is some case like when the people eat other people <laughs> he, he can he can get infected but i think <laughs> but for me but for me i think the the eggs will migrate in the striated muscle of the human you are in the good way but the person don't consume a person <laughs> yes there was a, an example <laughs> no don't give example it will happen that kind of <laughs> <laughs> so, you are in a good way. Guys, I told you that we have two kind of life cycles. Mm. So, for this kind of tenia, tenia solium. <laughs> uh -huh. So, what happens then? I need one one volunteer I explain volunteer for what? Good one. one more volunteer to Would tell me to? then I explain oh, yeah. Yeah, let me try let's try Leak. Yes. <laughs> the winter, this is a, a tissue infection, which is caused by a young. Yes, which is caused by a young hawkworm. Hawkworm. Hawk. Young. Young. A new hawkworm. No. It is. Person. It is understandable that we can find antibodies against that. Hmm. Mm. But because it is caused by a young tapeworm, mm. and young tapeworm, they, they cannot lay eggs. Eggs are laid by the adults. So this means that in the tools, maybe they, they are eggs. They, it is caused by young tapeworms. Okay, thank you. So, let okay. me add another thing. Then we compare. In my study, I find that people living in the village, mm -hmm. people living in the village, they have cystisericosis, mm -hmm. but they have, they don't have teniasis. Mm -hmm. Then, the the way, living in the city, they have teniasis, but they don't have cystisericosis. Now, what do you think? What do you think? Mumuji bafite teniasis. Mucharo mujitura je bafite cystisericosis. But when mucharo mucharo na go bafite teniasis of cystisericosis. Mumuji didn't have cystisericosis. Now explain it to me. What happened? And you can be sick. That's the question for maybe exam or cut. Let's continue if you don't manage. Ah, 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 no idea. 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 No the cellulosis can occur, for example, if those parasites can enter through subcutaneous tissues or brilliant eyes, so they can cause those systems. That is fast. And if the 
So simple way that you have to think about it's about this possibility of two life cycle of ten years solium. Two life cycle. So each life cycle will give a specific outcome. You develop this circle because you have consumed eggs. Consumption of eggs related to poor hygiene. Yeah hand hygiene, consuming mm. dirty water or contaminated water, or poorly cooked mm. uh, food, salad, or those, those things that relate to poor hygiene will, uh, will end up by having this That's why we found this many cases in the village because their hygiene is not really adequate. They eat they, without hand washing. You find them in the farm, they are digging, and they are eating without yes. hand washing. They don't have good toilets. They they don't have good water for drinking. So all of those and their pigs are running around in the around the house. <laughs> so those factors relating to hygiene are the factor that contribute that a man can consume egg and will and when you consume egg the oncosphere will hatch and migrate to the create the tissue and cause cystercosis. That's the case for the village cystercosis. Now, in the city, people are somehow developed, they are educated, and the economic is not, is not as in the village. So, they eat good food, they wash hands, they drink good water, but at the evening, they pass through the bar and consume macabins. After consuming this food, this meat, the seed sacai will hatch, will come out from the, the seed and will mature into other tomb in the intestine and they will, will find the eggs in the stool. Mm. That's how it occurs. This case of acabens, you will not have sterecosis because you will have other tomb. Mm. And this can never happen to Muslim if they don't, because they don't consume <laughs> acabens. Muslim, they can have this cystercosis because of this kind of second life cycle. That that's it, and I think it's explainable. Ooh, good. What is this? Okay. The expression is good. That's it. That's it. Clear. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. My problem is about the first case. Yeah. First I one. That in this, in the first case of cystic <laughs> Yeah, what we will do is take and yeah. eggs into some. Why we don't so have so eggs? So because so this case, so this case, so the cystisakai so will so not so develop so into so mature so other so tomb. So this guy don't have other tomb so in the test. So just so 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 the tissue and the tissue so and the and the post is But this time there is no other tool. So no egg. So sample is negative. No, no. And the rest take blood sample and the sample. The rest of the test find some antibodies against this. And this one is positive. But the serological test is negative. Okay. 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 No, who may any common and why? You move at the Maras and look at the students. Yes, if I give you a scenario like this in the exam, you manage to respond. 
Rabe wat? Enkora be hari. This is example of the meat. Never consume meat when you find there are those white things. This one. Those are resist. This is a a beef meat. A beef meat where we can find those is of Kenya Sajinata. Ndagogo <laughs> uh, unfortunately, in Virek, we find this. People just, when they are slotting a pig, they just uh, fly and consume the meat in it directly. This is the heart of the pig, whereby we see the, the, the cyst on the heart. So a human being also, when he has cyst cirrhosis, is like this. You have those cysts in the muscle of different body parts. And another life cycle. You see a lady here fetching water. Hmm? And this lady can even drink this oh. water. So if the, 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 the eggs of the parasite from the, 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 the Nimeze you, you tell us and explain why this lady consumed the water here, contaminated the water. What will it be outcome to her? Outcome Is it one, ten years? Is it and why? Sister, Not ten years. I require to go to and why? And why? Simone nita ye kukinguru meso sezi chute Zizi chute mwa ira anoze Nizendi kwa nye kumu uwe Nini nita ye kukinguru meso Meso riyo I think you understand now. I tried to, to go so slowly so that you understand. Now let's move on, okay? Yes. <laughs> Pathology and immunology, gastrointestinal <laughs> symptoms are due to the presence of the tape wall. While cystic syndrome are a result of inflammatory or immune response, antibodies are produced for cystic and are useful in epidemiological and even in diagnostic studies. Mm. Diagnosis is based on recovery of egg or proglotid in a from periano area, uh, while the cirrhosis is confirmed that by the presence of antibody mm. against the sarcai, and when it becomes neurocyst cirrhosis, we did some more radiological study, such as CT scan, mm. <laughs> and also we have to check the, 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 the patient, uh, the patient symptoms. If the patient have scissors, <coughs> scissors, if the patient has the, the signs of epilepsy falling down or mm -hmm. if the patient have severe headache can go a uh, CT scan and check That's whether the they are not okay. in the brain so prasquantel is the drug of choice exclusion of the scorex must be assured to assume satisfactory <laughs>
or no inspection of beef and potato. Adequate cooking or freezing of meat are effective precautions since this sakai don't survive temperature below 10 degrees yeah. and even up to so, you know, Another thing that I have seen, uh, ten year, ten year, ten years, is, somehow is a, a protective factor because when you have ten year, most likely you don't have any other parasites. And most of the time, a human being is infected by only one parasite. Which Rarely they can be two parasites in a, in a person, but they can't be more. Mm. Because they are very big, they seem to occupy the whole, the whole intestine, so you can't have more than two parasites. <laughs> or than two tapeworms in the gut. And when you have 10 years, it's most likely you will not have ascaris, you will not have hookworm, you will not have mm -hmm. others. Mm -hmm. Now, that's all about 10 years, sorry, I'm at 10 years, Ajinata. We can now talk Diphilobotrium latum, which is a fish or broad table. Or we take a break and come back. What do you think? Continue. Continue, man. We'll get a point to the thing. Teacher, you can continue till 10 o'clock. 10 p.m. Till 10 o'clock. 10 p.m. Okay, Diphilobotrium latum is a fish table. Fish tap worm infec infection is distributed worldwide and is associated with eating of raw or improperly cooked fresh water fish. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this well, is yeah, the yeah, largest yeah, tap worm yeah, found yeah. in demand, ranging from 3 to 10 meters with more than 3,000 prototypes. Yeah, 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 you Almost uh, two almond shapes believe, and the prototypes are broader than they are long. A morphology reflected in the organism today. This is the egg of the Philopotilium latum. The egg are oval or ellipsoidal mm. with when it at an end in a in opecular. An opecular means like an opening. It's like here there is mm. that's what we call opecular. Mm. So eggs is opeculated, that's what we call it. Opeculated egg. <coughs> that can be inconspicuous at the opposite and it is a smaller knob that can be very dis discernible. The egg are passed in the stool and embryonated and it's big. It is about 76 micrometers. Mm -hmm. This is the fillable Plato, the scolex. Those are prokrotides, gravid prokrotides that contain, contain eggs. A man and the other animals are infected by eating undercooked fish that contain plelocercoid lava. Plelocercoid lava. For tenia, we know that they are oncospheres. Mm. But it's not oncosphere lava, they are plelo, cercoid lava, which attach to small intestine wall and mature into other two Egg discharged from gravid prokrotide in small intestine are passed in feces. Egg hatch in fresh water to produce a ciliated coracidium. It means that the egg will need some other uh, intermediate host 
when when egg hatch it will it release colostrum which need to be ingested by water player or cyclops where it will develop into procercoidola when infected cyclops those small uh, aquatic animal cyclops they will be ingested by the fresh water this fish the procercoid larva will penetrate intestinal wall and develop into procercoid larva which is infectious to human then when a human consume the fish containing that procercoid larva will get infected so it means that this life cycle have at least three hosts it has a human it has a fish and it has the crops so how does this happen an embryonated egg is passed in feces when passed in feces eggs will be embryonated in the water then coracidia this one the larva within the egg will hatch from egg and will be in just by crustacean crustacean or cyclops this crustacean or cyclops containing colostrum the colostrum will develop into pro procercoid larva in the body cavity of this crustacean or cyclops then this cyclops or crustacean that contain procercoid larva probably will be ingested by the fish infected the crustacean ingested by small fish procercoid larva released from the crustacean will develop into plelocercoid larva this plelocercoid larva is infect infective to the human predator fish infected the small fish the big fish can eat small fish <laughs> then the human will ingest raw or undercooked infected fish whereby you have this plelocercoid larva which is an effective stage for this diphyrobotrium latro then in the human being the plelocercoid larva will be is the uh we develop to other step of in the gut and the last cycle will continue like this clinical symptom may be mild depending on number of forms they include abdominal discomfort excuse me loss of weight appetite and some malnutrition question okay? teacher yes uh in in the gut is there this 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 step of in in the gara in the small fish that is true mm. is there in this table mm. <laughs> when the ultra I, they are the, I, the, sorry uh, especially when they are had dry then they had no i didn't i didn't i didn't conduct a study or maybe you can conduct the study on it and find out mm. but as far as they are small fish mm. they are small fish which can be consumed either by this big one or they can be consumed by this one if they contain or if they have consumed the crustacea mm. containing this procercoid larva mm. and the procercoid larva will, uh, will develop into plelocercoid larva one is pro the other one is plero yeah plelocercoid larva so actually if you consume it you can get infected that's why by uh, consuming those under cooked under cooked uh seafood it's uh, dangerous not on read not on read the this microbiome there are many 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 diseases that are associated to seafood and or and cook the seafood okay one amazon oh 
uh, egg remain in the intestine, egg then it is the exocamp embryo, which will penetrate intestinal villus, continuing the life cycle. So it means that this proglottide containing egg, if they are not eliminated in the stool and remain in the gut, and egg will hatch in the intestine and release another cycle. Mm. So, if I repeat again, eggs of Menelopis nana are immediately infective when passed uh, in the stool and cannot survive more than 10 days in the environment. This is different from other uh, systems because Menelopis nana have automatically the infective eggs while the previous one, the eggs are not infected. When eggs are ingested by arthropod intermediate hosts, various species of beetles and flares may survive an intermediate host and they develop in fecoids which can infect human or rodent upon ingestion and they develop into other things small intestine. Morphologically, Menerope is an identical variant of Menerope sinana, uh, variant flatena, infect rodent and use arthropod as intermediate host. When eggs are ingested, the contaminated food or water from contaminated feces, oncosphere contained in the egg will be released, and those oncospheres which have six hooks, exacounts, they will exactly. penetrate intestinal virus and develop into cystocercoidal larva. Upon rupture of the virus, the cystocercoids will return to the intestinal rumen, evaginate their scoliosis attached to the intestinal mucosa and develop into others that reside in the ileal portion of the small intestine producing gravid proglottides. Eggs, which passed in the stool when released from proglottide through its genital atrium, or when proglottide is integrated in the small intestine, an alternate mode of infection will consist of internal auto-infection, where eggs will be released and they will hatch in the intestine and release embryo which penetrate the virus continue the cycle of this mineralopis nana. Lifespan of other tomb is around six weeks but internal auto-infection will continue the infection and you may have uh, persistent infections. So let's have a break.